A mountain home father is warning people about the dangers of candles near kids. This after his eight year old daughter's sequined skirt shirt caught on fire, burning 25% of her body. Our Shira Matsuzawa spoke with the dad about what happened and how that little girl is doing. Shira. Yeah, Mark, and you'll see for her yourself in just a moment, but we spoke with the Mountain Home Fire Department earlier this afternoon, and they tell me December is the busiest time of the year for candle fires like this one. Uh, I was freaking out. Um, my mind was everywhere. It's been a difficult few days for Jamerson Shepherd, or Jay as he likes to go by. But it's nothing compared to what his eight-year-old daughter, Aaliyah, has been going through. She's fighting. She's a tough girl like her mom. Over the weekend, Jay says Aaliyah was reaching over a candle to get a drink when part of her sequined shirt caught fire. Um, it set her on fire, and then it kind of, the shirt kind of melted into her chest and gave her really bad burns on her back and her chest area. And um, it went down part of her, um, her leg and some of her arm as well. The incident burned 25% of Aaliyah's body leaving her with third-degree burns. It's going to be a life changer for her. On Sunday, the family flew to Salt Lake City, where Aaliyah will now undergo four surgeries. The first one happened Tuesday when doctors put in a breathing tube. The doctor told us um, we're going to be here for about a month, so it's going to be kind of hard. You know? Which is why some people in the community are now stepping up to help Aaliyah and her family. People like realtor Carrie Thomas and Paws and Claws owner Farah Sanchez, who are holding a fundraiser on Sunday. They're wonderful. They're, they're, they're good kids and they don't, you know, it's a tragic thing. We just want to help the community and give back a little bit. We rely on the community for our businesses as small business owners and this is a way for us to give back because one town, one team. As for Aaliyah, she now has a long road toward recovery ahead of her. Them, no matter what, she's still going to be beautiful. I'm still going to support her. She's beautiful inside and outside. If you have candles or anything flammable, please be careful because I would hate for that a child to go through what my child is going through. Because Aaliyah is expected to be in the hospital for the next month, she's asking for Christmas cards that she can hang around her hospital room. And Christmas is her favorite holiday. Meantime, Aaliyah's dad says he wants to thank everyone for their support and prayers. The Mountain Home Fire Chief says a burnout fund will also go toward helping the family. And there's also a GoFundMe account set up for them as well. We'll have all those details on our website at KTVB.com as well as our KTVB app. Matt, Mark? You really get the sense, Shira, that that community is rallying around that little mm -hmm. girl and her family. All right. Absolutely. Shira, thanks.